Hello all, it's an absolutely beautiful summer day here in California. Uh, we're probably in the low 70s right now. Uh, spring is pretty much over and we're well into summer. Let's get right over to the news. The U.S. Senate passed a non-binding amendment calling for the approval of the Keystone XL pipeline. The vote was 62 to 37 in approval. The ones who voted yes got 3.5 times the normal bribes, uh, contributions that senators get when something so important comes up. The uh, Hoven Amendment 494 is what it's called. Uh, Big Oil spent almost 31 million dollars bribing, I mean contra in contributions, to these senators. All right, it, can it comes out to about $499,648 per senator. However, <laughs> The uh, Hoven Amendment, the ones that uh, brought it up, those senators, uh, they got $807,517 each right before the vote. The bribes ended up costing almost $8 million just for those senators alone. So there you go. We keep putting in the best of the worst and we're so amazed that we keep getting the worst. But. Uh, People will not even pay attention to this. This vote was taken on Friday again. So people don't pay attention on the weekend. What are they doing on the weekend? Well, the same thing they do all the time. Okay, well that pretty much explains it, why there's so much apathy about the pipeline and so much, so much misinformation. I even heard one person tell us that the, uh, the Alaskan pipeline is good for the environment. What they didn't tell you was that there's so little oil going through that pipe now they can barely keep it running because they've pumped Alaska dry already. Now do you think they'll remove this pipeline after they're done with it? And with that, let's go up and see what's happening in San Francisco Bay with the barges. Okay, while we're panning here, I'm going to explain this. The reason we use barges in San Francisco Bay is because this is where oil comes from that supplies the gasoline for California and parts of Oregon. And if you look, go back to our old videos, you'll see how it correlates to the supply of world oil. It's quite amazing. It's a really good tool. Okay, there are six barges in San Francisco Bay today. Yesterday, there were six also. And because it's the weekend, there wasn't any Brent crude and it was at uh, 107.2 or so on Friday. So we'll just skip that part. And let's go see what's happened with gasoline prices. There's been a change. In expensive gas station, expensive gas station. issue is is with the bribing or what they call the contributions to the senators you know th this is outrageous and everybody should be complaining about it somehow some way what's the best way not spending money in the big corporations you've heard me talk about this before where do you think all this money is coming from every time you go buy at the big box store or something like that you're contributing right to their campaign their their bribery money because it goes from the corporations into the Congress. And it's, it, it, so what can you do? Stop supporting big corporations. Look for alternative. Go to Pink Barrio where you'll find the link on this vote from the Senate about big oil bribing the Senate. And you can see exactly who voted for what. But what you should do is also check out Pink Barrio for small independent artisans who are trying to make a living and that are not contributing one cent to these uh, bribes. If we starve the bribe machine by not spending money at big corporations, big corporate box stores, and spending your, putting your money in big corporate banks, whereas you could put it in a, a credit union that you've thoroughly researched. You can spend your money at the farmer's market and at the local cooperative. You can go get your bicycle fixed at the local cooperative. Just look it up in your town. See if there's one there. See if there's somebody who can fix something instead of some big chain 
corporation, some corporate chain that's, you know, worldwide. Stay away from that stuff. Don't support these guys. Support your local independent stores and grocers and businesses. That way the money stays with, within the community and it doesn't keep getting funneled into this bribe machine they call the Senate. I, I can't imagine how many contributions the, uh, the one at the top is getting. Yeah, I think it's Democrats. Okay, from here, let's go over and see what a one of the watchers of Peak Oil News Update left a comment, and I wanted to uh, address that. On the uh, February 19th video, let me go show it to you. By the way, the eraser still going strong. All right, so he's talking about gas wells with fracking. Okay, and gas, natural gas wells, they frack much like they do with oil wells. So they go down two miles and over two miles. Uh, will explode sections in the pipe one after another. They just close the end off and explode it and move it and close it off and they keep on blowing up sections of the pipe underneath like this and then the gas natural gas comes leaking out of all the fractured rock and uh, peaks within about one year after that it does continue to outgas but it falls off rapidly so this type of well which is natural gas looks something like this it's a quick peak and then it's a quick low down and they get these little trickles of gas out of it over the years. Okay, now the oil well is done similarly two miles and two miles and they explode it and the oil comes out but this type of well which is uh, cr crude oil but just very nasty it's full of sulfur and dirt and it's very hard to uh, process takes a lot of money to both do this process and to get the oil out. Once the uh, there's a peak, again, a peak like this, but this type of well is more like that. Now this is oil. The reason is because the oil is pumped out. It drips down into these holes and then this is all pumped out. And of course, once you get the ma majority of the oil out, it peaks and goes down quickly. Um, the fracking wells for oil do end fairly quickly, about three years on average. Well, anyway, I hope that helps. Um, either well peaks and dies out quickly, and what you get out of it for the destruction you do underground and above ground, and all the fossil fuels, fossil fuels you use to get this oil tells me this is not a good system at all. Thanks for your comments and appreciate it. And I certainly appreciate all the uh, comments, and I know when I bring up this kind of thing I lose subscribers, but that's just the way it goes, because I'm not going to stop. You know, my program is what is is, not what is wants to be. It, it's what is is, and the reason it is that way. And it's always because of the lack of interest in the, the basic population, in our, in our population. There's just a, a handful of us that really pay attention and care. So I appreciate the comments and if you want to do a video response to any of this, go for it. You know, all of, they're already approved. You don't have to get a permission. They're already marked approved. All right, and until next time, we'll see you guys later. Huh?